Hi, it's John here from the Professional Nail School and Beauty Academy. I'm just going to look at um, sculpting a white um, onto here. So that's like um, French. So I've obviously prepped all the nails and done all the necessary that I need to do before I actually um, start this. I've dehydrated them and um, I've actually uh, just gone over the actual nail to make sure it's no, it, the shine is removed from the natural nail. So I'm just going to get my um, in my pot, dab it a couple of times like this, and go into here and pick up my bead. So I've got my bead on my brush there, and I'm just going to place it at the back. I'm just going to wait about a few seconds for it to settle so it doesn't run all over the place and then I'm just going to place it on the nail here dab my brush just tap down at the back here just let it come down the nail point the finger down slightly so it flows Don't let it get on the cuticle, obviously. That's why we keep the finger pointing downwards. And you can see it's coming towards the end of the nail now. I'm just going to start shaping my um, smile line. I'm just going to push back here. Push back. Just shape my smile line. Picked up a hair there off the table. So wherever you want your smile line to be, I think I just need a bit more product. Just going to flatten that off slightly there on the top. Check the sides to make sure it is going to the sides. But keep it quite proud. Get out the cuticles at the side. Okay. So normally I would go along and do all my pinks just to the towards the edge of the nail like that that I shaped before and then I would let those dry off and then I'm just going to file it a bit just to refine that smile line a bit but I can't do that until it's obviously dry. Right so I'll just carry on doing all my pinks now I mentioned about reversing it on another way to do it and sometimes people prefer this method Pick up. then reverse that where you want the smile line and you can see it makes that kind of uh, look and then you can refine your smile line you want it standing quite proud And obviously, whichever way you tip the finger is the way that the products will flow. So just keep looking at your smile line, and just refine it. I'm 
obviously keep it off the skin. Right, so when those are dry, I'm going to file them round just to refine the smile lines. So I've got a file here and I haven't taken the sharp edge off. So you don't want to do that when, you, when you're when refining your smile lines. So you can just go around the edge like this, just to refine that smile line. So it sort of makes like a little bit of a wall. Like that. Keep your file upright. Just go around like that. probably better to leave a little bit more free edge showing actually when you're doing this so you've got something to lean on I did go a bit close there your file in contact with the end so that and go work around like that otherwise you'll have little steps along the edge so I've got my form on here now just gonna get some liquid on my brush pick up my white drain it off you want it to be kind of like not running all over the place when you put it on, on the nail. So you just want to push that up on the side. Same this side. And see how, how it's sort of not running. Make sure you get it right up to the edges. It doesn't matter if it goes over the pink. It's not important. Just make sure it gets up to the edges. If you need to, you can just fill in little bits like this. Make sure you've got right up to the edges. Leave a little bit there, just feel it maybe it needs a little bit there. You can always increase the products on there if you feel it's not thick enough.
And then we have to let that set before we file it. Don't worry too much about the shape. You can always refine that afterwards. So when it's fully set, you can take the form off, but don't take your forms off until they are properly set. But usually when you're doing a full set, by the time you get back to the beginning again, you will have found that it will have actually set. So there it is with the form off. So now it's time to file it. Going up the sides, with the rough side of my file, same up this side, I don't want to be able to see the top of my file as I'm filing. When I look from the side, it's coming off the side wall in a straight line. And obviously on these dummy hands, it's a bit awkward to do, but let's do our best. Because the nails kind of move around, which they wouldn't do on a real person, obviously. They would not move around. You need to refine your shape on the end, you can do that as well. Then I'm going to get my electric file and smooth this down. I'm just taking some of that bulk out that I had there to build my side, to build my uh, white up against. Any white that went onto the actual nail itself will, onto pink I should say, will just come out. carry on doing that until I feel I've got a nail that feels right. That's when I draw my fingers across. I don't want to feel any dips or dents. So I'll carry on doing that. So once all your filing's done, um, we just put a top coat over the nail itself. So I've got a top coat here. Just wiggle it up, come down. Don't forget to cap the end. And then it's just into the lamp. I want to keep the hand flat so it doesn't run down. Obviously, that's not an issue when you're doing a climb because um, the hand uh, will be flat in the lamp. So 
So there is the finished nail and then it's just cuticle oil around the back and there's your nail completed. Right, if you're doing a, a glitter nail, after you've got your pink on, um, what you need to do is, is obviously wet your brush, your acrylic brush. Pick up your glitter. I'm just going to take a little bit of moisture out of that. Pop it onto the nail. Now this is a, a glitter powder with, with an acrylic built in. So I'm just going to pop that up towards the smile line, just as I did on the white. We want to try and control it. It's a little bit easier to control than the actual white. Make sure you get it up to the edges like this. Right up to the actual line. Just use the side of the brush, bring it round. Then you can just start bringing it down into the shape that you want. Pass it along into the shape. Follow the lines on your form. But you, you can file it afterwards, so you know, don't worry too much. Just keep get to the edges, make sure you get your glitter to the edges of where you're going. Now with the glitter, you will need to uh, actually put clear over the top. It's a little bit, over, just a little bit there. I can see it just needs a little bit of messing about in there. Right, so I'm just going to get my clear now and put that over the top.
because if I don't put the clear on when I file it, obviously I'll have a problem. It'll all just file off. Make sure that embeds into the actual glitter surface. Keep your side walls clear. I don't want to repeat myself again, but you'll know know what I'm going to say by now. <laughs> I hate working on these dummy hands. It's just so much easier on a real person. I wish I had a pound for every time I've said that. Clear will also seal the joints as well. So I'm just going to look at it from the side just to see what the profile's like. Up there. So I'm looking at it from the side. Right, so we just need to let that set now. And then we're just going to finish off the actual shaping of the nail. Right, so once we've taken off the form, we need to uh, refine the shape now. So around the back a bit. When you're doing sculpts, you do need the electric file. So if you want to add this onto your course, if you do it on the same day, the electric file certificate, instead of paying the full price of £95, if you did it on a separate day, you only pay £40. So that's quite a saving. So I use my fingers just to feel what it's like. And I'm actually using a ceramic head on here. Of course you can use a metal one as well. But the ceramic and the metal carbide must never be used on the natural nail. It's only for filing the products. So I'm just feeling it. And I, once I've done this, I'll refine it some more with my hand file. So I'll get on and do that. So once you've finished all your filing, 
all there is left to do then is to top coat it and all your glitter will come back. You can see it now sparkling back. to the lamp for 60 seconds there is our finished nail That's going up to a smile line. So with this um, last one today, I'm just going to extend the actual nail. This would be your pink natural nail. And I'm just going to extend this with a clear powder. Onto there. Just take the excess moisture out of your brush and just move that round till it meets up to the to the uh, nail that you have there already, the natural nail. Take it to the length you want. And you can make it whatever shape you want. Just follow the lines on your fork. So I'm just going to overlap now across that join. Yeah. So this is kind of like, if you're using tips, then you'd just be making a tip that you're going to work on. So that's all I'm doing here, basically. Just keep it really thin at the back. Keep your side walls clear. Because you don't want to make this too thick. Otherwise, when you start putting your products on top after, it's all going to appear too thick. So basically that's it now. Now we need to make sure that these set properly. Otherwise when you come to take your form off, it, it you know, it, 
this end bit will just break off so you don't want that to happen but when you're doing a full set obviously by the time you get back from doing all these on the other nails this will be set When you've got your form off, you just need to file it into shape. Adjust it to the length that you want if it's not quite there. And then just go over the top to get it smooth. any bits out from underneath maybe there now this nail at the moment obviously is very very thin it would just snap off at the moment of course it'd be pink at the back because it's a natural nail And you feel it with your fingers, if it feels smooth, that's great. Get rid of any dust on your table. You don't want any dust. And um, we've got glitter here, which is one of the CJP range. And I've got a grey somewhere, let's have a look now. Yeah, grey. This is uh, one of the glitter bells. I think it's called light grey. And I'm just going to get some mammonimer onto my brush. Pick up my grey, place it on the nail, dry your brush, bring it down the nail, watch where it's going and just fade it towards the front. If you've got too much, just scrape it off. So I'm just going to keep the side walls clean. I don't want to go thick at the front, I just want to have it sort of a lightish grey. Pick up a small amount. Always tip the fingers down when you're working by the cuticle. I'm just going to get my glitter.
there on the front. Take some of it off. And then just fade it up the nail. Check the sides that you haven't missed any areas. Don't overdo it. And you would go on to your next one and then you'd use a clear to encapsulate all that. Make sure your brush is clean. Just find a new piece of paper so that you're not picking up bits of glitter. Now because this is a colour powder, you need to encapsulate it with clear because it's not actually a core powder. A core powder is one that you can file straight over it and it won't affect it. <clears throat> with a um, coloured powders I always encapsulate And you need to encapsulate until you can't see the glitter glittering at you. <clears throat> and what you're doing while you're putting this clear on is you're building up your structure at the same time, which is thicker here. because that's where your strength is going to be, here. Always check your sides. Sweep down the nail. Now you want to look at it from the side as well to make sure that you have got no big dips in it and so on. I felt there's a bit lacking on this side. So when all that's set now, I'm going to file it over into a really smooth finish.
and we can use the e file. So that's it. So all we've got to do now is wait, or if we're doing a full set, we just go on to the next nail. And then we're going to finish it till it's perfect. So once you've got that set, you just need to do the filing with your hand file and your e-file. And then it's a matter of top coat. So I'll get on with that. So once it's all filed up and you're happy with it, we're going to apply our top coat. I'm going to put that into the lamp for 60 seconds. So there's three nails that we've uh, done today. Um, I hope that was helpful and if you need me at any time just give me a call on our number 0121 559 8055 and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.